Now a search is underway for at least two suspects. WGN's Brona Tomalty is in Bloomingdale with that story. Good evening. We're told about 30 investigators are now working this case. Police say they're looking for at least two people who fired weapons. The whole incident leaving a Chicago man dead and sending several others to the hospital. It's a sad day for that. It's it's not indicative of Bloomingdale for this type of event. In the early hours of Saturday morning, the emergency calls came flooding in. Upon arrival, officers um, saw people actually fleeing from the hotel, went in. There was actually some people fighting also within the hotel. Inside Indian Lakes Hotel, chaos had erupted on the fifth and sixth floors, where it's understood two large groups were gathered. It sounds like there was a, um, a verbal argument that led to to a physical argument uh, or fight between um, parties and then it, it appears that someone discharged um, a firearm. And as bullets started flying. I have a leg threatening two on the sixth floor. I need them up here ASAP. A deadly shot was fired. There was one person that lost his life. His name is James McGill Jr. At least five others were injured. Unfortunately, there may have been more because over 100 people fled the hotel before we had contact with them. Dozens of officers from multiple jurisdictions going above and beyond to get help for those caught up in the carnage. I saw some valiant efforts by law enforcement trying to save lives, putting tourniquets on people. One of our officers, it looks like, carried one of the victims down six flights of uh, stairs after he received the gunshots. And we're told this isn't an isolated type of incident with this particular place. We've had crimes involving drug use, fights, um, we've taken guns off of people within the hotel and outside the hotel. We have had a drastic spike in crime at Indian Lakes at the hotel itself. We've, we've um, conveyed our concerns to the hotel management, to the ownership. A village letter even making its way to management inside the last six months, predicting the likes of last night. We feel that they've kind of uh, let our community down in a sense. There was no security working last night. We've confirmed that. And, um, you know, you know that, that will move forward with the, the village will look into some of their responsibilities as a business within our community. The mayor in a statement today also stating there will be consequences, saying in part, the unfortunate incident that occurred this morning may have been avoided if security was present as First Hospitality Group had promised in our meetings. Our investigation has confirmed that no security was on duty at the time. As a result, I have directed staff to begin the process of revoking all licenses for the hotel to operate in our village. Now, obviously, we are in a pandemic and having large gatherings could bring about other problems for the hotel with the health department, which we're told has been the case in the past. We have reached out to the hotel today as well. And we were not able to get hold of anyone in Bloomingdale. Brona Tumulty, WGN News. Our